Hello. How's it going? Good. Good. Do you like a map or a newspaper? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Yellowstone. We missed the sign. We'll try and get another one. We're just going to toot around through the park this morning. We came in on this south gate. So we're going to make our way towards uh, Old Faithful and see what we can see around that area. Now that we have a map, we can see where everything is. Yep. And maybe there's an information center too, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what we can we find. Can figure this out. So we're just gonna do a little bit of snooping around, see what we can see. We have no plan, of course. We have, um, we have no reservations done for the campsites. A lot of the campsites now are um, where you have to go there, first come, first serve. They, you can't book online. Um, but we're just gonna go to a gate when we're ready to stop in uh, some of the campsites and see if we can get a spot. If not, we'll pop back out of the park and find ourselves a boondocking site. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get up to today. We're going to check out our first attraction, which is what? Mudbots? West Thumb Geyser Basin. West Thumb Geyser Basin, and it is stinky. <laughs> We're not even there yet. No. West Thumb Geyser Basin. Bunch of steaming holes. We got a mini boiler. We got some serious action going on down here by the lake. It's like steam holes everywhere. Just a boiling. Look at that, it's clear water on that one. It's not even muddy. Wow, it's crazy how hot it is. Abyss pool. So clear, wow. The wind blew the steam off of the puddle a little bit. It's pretty neat. You can see way down inside of it. So we got ourselves parked at the uh, Old Faithful Visitor Center parking area and made our way over to the visitor center. So we'll find out when that sucker is going to erupt Yep. and uh, walk around and see what there is to do here. You can see. Oh. So the sign over there says 223. So we have an hour. We got an hour to do what there is to do. So let's find out what there is to do. It's gonna take me that long to get through the crowds to buy a sticker. Uh, it's a pretty big visitor center. It's huge. Lots of people in there. And this is Old Faithful. But we gotta wait like an hour and a bit. So here's the plan. We'll let you guys in. <laughs> we the have plan. a little bit over an hour probably, right? An we have an hour. An hour-ish. Hour we have an hour. We're gonna walk away from the geyser for 30 minutes and then we're going to decide whether we can cross over and take the bike path back or if we got to turn around and walk back the way we came. We don't really know, but we'll figure it out. Thank you, Pew. Some big stinkers up here. <laughs> hey, it's not bubbling anymore. Oh, it was. That one was just bubbling like crazy. Where'd I go? Check it out. And it stopped. There it goes, it's bubbling again.
This half an hour is going to take a long time. <laughs> well, probably 30 minutes. <laughs> we're going to stop lots. We're not going to get very far. We're not going to get very far. We're going to get very far. Is it going to spray us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going in. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Run. <laughs> 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 well, we saw this one from a distance. It was putting off lots of steam. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Grotto Geyser. Better go. I know it's gonna do something spectacular as soon as we leave. Yeah, though. But we're gonna we can't miss the big one. We're down to the wire. We got distracted. Yeah. I don't know how accurate their times are. We'll see. Hopefully we make it. We have a long road ahead. Oh, it. Castle geyser. Two per day are recorded. Huh. Well, it was pretty good to catch that one then. Only erupts twice a day. What time is it now? 2.23. Oh, Eruption that's time. The time. It's time. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, this place is huge. It's ridiculously expensive, but I've seen it on so many YouTube videos, I'm buying it. Huckleberry licorice. What are you getting licorice instead of ice cream? No, I'm getting ice cream too. <laughs> we found ice cream. We found ice cream. It's over here somewhere. So on our Patreon, our starting level is Buy us coffee? coffee, I think, or buy us uh, buy us some gas. I think we need to have it as buy us an ice cream. <laughs> Not a Yellowstone ice cream, though, because they're six twenty nine yeah. for one scoop. But hey, I'm down to buy us an ice cream. What do you guys think? But two scoops is only seven ninety nine. Well, that's a way better deal. Bargain. It's like going just, to Costco. So we'll just ask for two scoops and two separate cups, two different flavors. <laughs> I want ice cream. I want ice cream. There you go. I want ice cream. <laughs> Drive. drive number one. <laughs> one-way road. Yeah. Just a little scenic drive, so let's yeah. see what we see. Good motorbike road.
got things. I already forgot where we're going. Fountain paint pot. Ready to go? I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> but you do. It takes me a minute to get my poop in a group. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, what are we going to go look at? Fountain paint pot. Fountain paint pot. Here we go. Fountain paint pot. You wouldn't want a dangerous mix of hamburgers and milkshakes and hot water. Ooh, it could get crazy. Fountain paint pots. Look at that bubble in a way. Can you hear that? one just fired up all of a sudden it wasn't doing anything and she's letting her rip a never ending amount of steam holes out here if you look across out in that field they're everywhere little geysers over there and then this sucker spasmatic never stops wow It's all geyser water coming out of there. It's like a waterfall of geyser water. It's nuts. These look like, I don't know what these look like on the GoPro, but it's like fluorescent green from this angle. Marianne's pictures probably look better. Pretty wild. On we go to the steam. So the sign says in something like 1880, this thing erupted huge, like 300 feet in the air and blew this big hole in the ground. And it actually ruptured the underground fissures or whatever. And then it didn't really erupt again until like 1985. And it erupted for like 72 hours straight and then stopped. So. Who there knows? Could go off any time. Hey, how you doing? See us down there. <laughs> Steaming into the sunset. Is this Grand Prismatic? I'm not Maybe. sure. It's a big one. Not sure how many colors we'll see at this time of day. Cool ripples. Oh, wow. It's like glass. These orange lines are super cool. I think we're going to have to come back with different light and see if we can capture them. before we go home. We're hiked out. Yeah. So we're just gonna drive. So we're on... Fire Hole Lake Drive. Fire Hole Lake Drive.
can't take him anywhere. campground this morning because we can't get a site for tonight until maybe 4 p.m. so we'll have to come back so I think we're going to move the RV to a parking spot somewhere and drive around the Jeep let's see what we can find so it's 8 a.m. I just took a run down to the camper registration station to see if there's any hope of getting a site for tonight campground update no sites available but they do get people that check out early and they know by 11 a.m. So they say that's the first time to come back and check is 11 a.m. By 11.30 they say, then they know for sure. And then the next one is the one we hit yesterday, 4 p.m., which they say like 10 after four around there, they'll know if there's any cancellations of people that aren't showing up for that night. And there is the possibility of putting us into a smaller RV site which is a 20 footer site, I think they call it, even though we're 25 feet. But um, we're in the longer site now to accommodate parking the Jeep and they won't put us in a small site because we need to park the Jeep somewhere. But he says, you know, there seem very accommodating there. He seems, he says there is the option of putting us in a smaller RV site and then us also getting a tent site to park the Jeep in, which is a good option too. It may cost a little bit more, but, um, doesn't matter saves us driving all the way out of the park so that might be an option so you know I kind of think they're gonna fit us in there somehow and he said you're the guy with the yellow truck right <laughs> so they remember us that's good so we'll go and see some sites today and then uh, we'll come back and check in see what we find there's that beast jammed in the trees Good morning again. It's a balmy minus six Celsius. Minus this six morning. or seven, ah. and which is like <laughs> about 20 ish Fahrenheit, 20, yeah. 21, something like that. It was so cold. It's crispy. We were nice and toasty, but there were lots of people in the campground in tents last night. <gasps> oh, I hope they uh, had the appropriate gear because wow, she was a cold one. So it's, uh, what time is it? It's 9 a.m. here in Yellowstone and we had to leave our campsite. Checkout time was 11, but uh, we've, we're pulling out and we're heading back to the Grand Prismatic uh, Walk. See it with the- With the sun from a different angle? And then at 11.30, we head back to the campsite because that apparently is another time in which you can check to see if there's been any cancellations, early checkouts, things like that. So we're gonna see if we can nab ourselves a spot for another night, fingers crossed. And then after that, we're gonna drive back to the Grand Prismatic, go a little bit further, and we're gonna do the hike up to the Overlook. Hopefully by then a lot of the fog that forms overnight on the over the pond has burnt off. And we, again, fingers crossed, and hopefully see some of the colors from the lookout. So bundle up, we're going on a chilly walk. Look at all the steam. Pretty cool. Grand prismatic spring with the morning sun. Marianne's getting her camera crouch on. The oranges sing, seem a lot oranger this morning.
We've got a frosty walkway this morning at Grand Prismatic. We are at the Grand Prismatic Overlook Trail. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the Fairies Fall Trailhead, if you look on all the maps. But then you, when you go to Grand Prismatic, you see an overlook up there and you're like, hey, what's that? And so if you walk up to this sign, that's when you see it. 1.6 miles round trip, Stuart. It's the last climb. I'm gasping. Yeah, sucking for air at 8,000 feet for sure. We're not used to it. <laughs> when you do start to breathe a little harder, it's not very effective. We're lowlanders. You don't get the oxygen. But uh, we're at the last little bit here. Coming up to the lookout. Well, you can kind of see it. It was a climb, but we managed to get all the way up there, take five pictures, and turn around, and come back, <laughs> and a little bit of video. They got busy. There was a organized tour that came up. Oh, was there a right tour? Up. Yeah, that was a tour. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, climbing at 8,000 feet or wherever we're at, it's uh, a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it is for sure. That's why the time is now. Your lungs will probably never be better than they are today. <laughs> I hope they will be because I'm really out of shape. <laughs> well, Baisalo crossing the path ahead of us. Look at that. Yummy. Is it everything you dreamed of? It was the best breakfast burrito I've had all day. Because Marianne did dream of making... I did. <laughs> ...sausage breakfast burritos for breakfast I, last night. I dreamt of filming it. But so, here we are. That's dedication. We are at Brink of Lower Falls. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. We're here. We're gonna try and go here. We go down 600 feet, it says, and half a mile of walk. Yeah. This the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. And we walked to the top of the falls over there, which was 600 feet down the hill. This is a way better option because it's just a couple hundred feet walk from the parking lot, not straight down. You can walk down there though, but uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We are now at the Upper Falls. And we're at the overlook at the top of the Upper Falls. So we get to see the river here close up. And the top of the Upper Falls, like we saw the top of the Lower Falls. We don't have to drop, walk 0.6 of a mile straight down a hill to get to this one. It's only down two flights of stairs, so. This is way better.
<laughs> 10,700 steps, 8,900 were straight uphill. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. All right, so we're coming to the lower viewpoint of the Upper Falls, which is actually upper above the lower of the Upper Falls. If that makes any sense, but it doesn't. Up on, there it is. It's windy. We were just down there on that lookout. are pretty tame there's like a I think it's a coyote over there I don't think it's not big enough to be a wolf but maybe they have little wolves around here but uh, yeah he's just hanging out and there's like tons of people we were watching him and then there's a buffalo right there with no care easy you can really hear it when you drive by listen We got a little bit of time before four o'clock when we go and see if we can get a campsite for tonight. So we still don't know if we're going to be in the park tonight or not be in the park tonight. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're in the park and we're going to Gibbons Falls, Gibbons Falls or Gibbon Falls, one of those. And uh, it, we could see it a bit from the road, I think, when we drove up. It looked pretty nice. There we go. You can go a little farther down this path, but we got a pretty good view of the falls here. There it is, Gibbons Falls. Evening hike time. <laughs> we got a campsite at Madison again. They fit us in from a cancellation. Yep. So we moved in, hopped in the Jeep, and we are doing the paint Pots? Is Art, that what it's called? Artist paint pots. Artist paint pots. There was a European guy in the parking lot that asked somebody coming out. He said is... Is it worth the or walk? They asked a European guy coming out. Somebody coming up said, is it worth the walk? And the European guy says, if you like the mud, go bloop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we so, like the mud, go bloop. We're going to go see we're if we like see. the mud, go bloop. Uh, it's a nice trail white mud what oh it did say you, well, you could get splashed with mud on the sign we'll call these yellowstone stairs marianne loves yellowstone stairs <sighs> so done is we going up what's today i have little legs these stairs are huge. We're almost up top. Just like that. We made it. Does the mud go bloop up here? Sounds like it. Cool. Oh, it just flings it. Come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. 
Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Pretty cool log and stone structures around <clears throat> here. Wicked stone foundations. Porcelain Basin Trail. We're going down there to Porcelain Basin. It's only a kilometer. So we decided to do it. Wow. the coolest spot we've seen. This is really neat. This whole valley in here is all wet and it's just, it, the, as far as you can see, it's spouting these water spouts up and it's like across the whole valley. You see all these little steam things and they're shooting up water like crazy. You probably can't see it on the GoPro, but we'll look closer here. Maybe you can see those ones, but they're just shooting up water like crazy and it's everywhere. So neat. Check this one out. I'd call it a cauldron. It's a boiling pit of Congress. So we just pulled into Mammoth Hot Springs. Hello. And there is nowhere to park an RV around here. <laughs> well, not that we found yet anyway. Yeah, there's no actual, no, not a sign I saw that said RV parking anywhere. Yeah, everything else, uh, all the signs that we did see said that no oversized vehicles and no um, tow vehicles, so. Yeah, but we just went to the north end of town here where you come in from the north, um, we do the north entrance to the park, I guess. So we went blue right through coming from the south. And there's room for us to park on the side here. And we're just gonna unhook the Jeep and go back so we can fit in all the parking lots. So we're going that way. We're gonna go see the Travertine Terraces. I think it's called, what did it, what was it called? Tower? I don't know. I don't know, I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> At the Mammoth Hot Springs Terraces. In a different location. We're going in by Liberty Cap. And then we get to go look at these terraces that Marianne's been super excited to see. <laughs> it's a different kind of stink here. said we weren't doing a lot of walking today. <laughs> that parking lot there, we're not parked in that one. 
We're parked way down there. But we're not done yet. <laughs> we go up. to the park built in like 1920 something or something like that I think. Well the Yellowstone Park Working Trading Company through. 1925. 1925. Well she's an old town. Gazelle. 